What's up, gang? Jamie Hodges from Ghostbusters Virginia and GBVA TV. And as per usual, we've been busy. I'm not sure which order these are going to come out in, but we did also just film a review on Secret Cinema's Gates of Gozer experience. If you haven't checked that out, or if it's not out yet, pin it. Stick a pen in it. Make sure you check that one out, because that was a lot of fun. And we touched on just how busy we've been a little bit in that video. To sum it all up, we got an incredible experience recently to be invited by Sony Pictures and Ghost Corps to the world premiere red carpet event for Ghostbusters Afterlife in New York City. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're not in the know. Don't you want to know? Why are you so far behind? That means you need to check us out on Facebook. We've got full coverage and some pictures on there, plus some new videos coming out specifically from that event. There's so much that I'm still sorting through. So much just from that weekend. So that might even end up being its own little segment at some point in time. We'll get there eventually. We were going to get to it. We'll burn that bridge while we're crossing it. So pop on over to Facebook and check out some of those pictures and videos. And also be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. Don't miss an update. We got so much coming up soon. The holidays are coming up. It's our best season. That's right, it's December, and we have a slew of holiday-related events coming up, including partnerships with Make-A-Wish, Toys for Tots, Feed More. We're doing, or by the time this video comes out, we probably done did it. It's done. It's happened. We're doing the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. This is our first year, and I can't tell you how excited I am. But that's not why we're here today. I'm going to take it back a few steps. Today, we're here to talk about Ghostbusters Afterlife. And before we take not one step further, hold your, back it up. Back your, take your horses, pull them back. Back that horse up. We are talking about a movie that has not come out for everybody yet. Some of us, like myself, have been lucky enough to see it multiple times already. But you'll never, never forget your first. Never. So I'm going to say this once and maybe even just one more time, I'm not sure. It'll probably be in the title. Warning. Spoiler. Warning. Spoilers. Yo. W whoa. Spoilers. This is it. Unless you don't care. Maybe you're into that sort of thing. Maybe you want to be spoiled, you dirties. In which case, come on. Come on in. The water's warm. Now that we got that out of the way, in order to talk about the new hotness that came out from Hasbro recently, we got to run through Afterlife just a little bit, just to really appreciate some of those details. Ghostbusters Afterlife starts by dropping you right into the action as we watch Dr. Egon Spangler enact his master plan. And we're not entirely sure what that is yet, but he's looking to put a stop to something for good. Unfortunately, that plan fails, and in desperation, he whips out his PKE taser and looks to duke it out with some pretty pesky poltergeist. In the end, he ends up being offed. Egon is no longer with us. He straight up gets yeeted into the afterlife. See what I did there? As he's taken out by what is seemingly a sentinel terror dog, which we've seen before. This was the Build-A-Figure for the first part of Wave 2 of Hasbro's Plasma series. Or as Jason Reitman explains it as the spectral form of the terror dogs. Later, we even see Gary Gruberson release one of these from Egon's Ghost Trap. They even do a little bit of work to explain it through Tobin's spirit guide later in the movie, but you really kind of have to piece it together, and I watched it at least like three times. Anyway, jumping forward, through personal circumstances, Callie and her two kids, Trevor and Phoebe, are headed to Somerville to pick through the rubble of their late grandfather's life. Now, while still physically unseen, not long into their stay, their late grandfather, Egon, makes his presence known by challenging his granddaughter, Phoebe, to a game of intellect, or chess, which just... What a great way to start that bond between grandfather and granddaughter, because that's where they match, is on intellect. It's, it was just... It, good job. Now this is how we as the audience and the characters will experience Egon through the majority of the film. 
He continues by very subtly leading Phoebe down to a secret laboratory. We get to see little bits of pieces of what Egon was doing before he passed in regards to his research and his lab setup. Plenty of Easter eggs to be seen here, including Egon's famous spores, molds, and fungus collection where together they actually piece back together his old proton pack. At this point, the kids are dangerously geared up and ready to bust. And this is the most we see of Egon for a little while. So it starts off small, and then we are led to just have our adventure, which is really, really cool. There's another really touching moment later with Callie. But if I, mean, if I told you everything, then you wouldn't have to see the movie. These, there are spoilers here, but we gotta leave some surprise. I can't... I'm not going to tell you everything. Jump forward again to the end of the film. We're in the third act. We got the OG Busters back, baby. Did you miss them? Because they're here. The best, the beautiful, the only Ghostbusters. They duke it out with the big bad and things aren't going so hot. But in the nick of time, we're met with a familiar face. This time, and for the first time during the entirety of the movie, we get to physically see, physically, Egon Spangler, ladies and gentlemen, back from the afterlife in a really heartfelt, touching moment with Phoebe, actress McKenna Grace. She sells it. The whole thing is done so tastefully. There were a lot of rumors earlier on that we were going to see Egon or there was going to be a, a big presence of some sort in this film. And there are several ways this could have gone. And this is one of the very few acceptable ones. And it's done so well. You, you have to see it. So before things are done, we get to see all four original Busters back together again to save the world one last time y'all are going to y'all are going to make me cry do you want to see me get wet do you want to see me wet you don't want to see me wet everyone gets to say their goodbyes there's touching moments there's weeps there's hugs there's some laughs it's a lot of fun if you haven't yet Go see Ghostbusters Afterlife in theaters now, or check your local listings to figure out when you can see it. Go see it. Get in your Ectomobile now, and you go see it for Harold. Thank you, Jason. And now, if you've made it this far, we, we can't spoil, spoil you anymore. We can't. We have given you so much. So let's get into it. Let's, let's talk about it. This is why you're here, isn't it? Brand new in the second wave of Hasbro's Plasma series, and only the second two-pack that we've seen in this series so far, the Phoebe and Egon Spengler family that busts together two-pack. It's two. There's two of them. And I can't begin to tell you, A, how excited I've been since they announced this on Hasbro PulseCon, and B, since I've picked this up, I've had this for two days maybe three two or three days and i've been waiting to film this review i have not i've been waiting for you the whole time i haven't opened this up yet i want to i want to get into it so bad <sighs> i love you guys i really do but sometimes but you know we can't just get right in we gotta we gotta do my favorite part i want to hear you say it i want to I want to look at the box. Really though, I always kind of laugh it off, but some t oftentimes a lot of work goes into these, and this one in particular, and you're going to find out why here in a second. Continuing the trend we've seen on the rest of Hasbro's Plasma Series line, we've got the sort of uniform look going on here. Now this is Afterlife, so while it is the usual uniform motif, it's also a little grunged up. It's a little dirty. We got 35 years worth of busting to display here. As mentioned previously, we have the name tag here with the very fun name for this two-pack, the family that busts together. You know the old saying about the family that busts. Together. It's like an ad-lib. You, you finish that. I got a review to do. 
Swinging it around to the side, we have more of that minimalistic art style we've seen on some of the other Plasma Series packaging. This one somehow hits a little bit different. It's a little bit more special. It's a completely different composure than what we've seen previously. That would highlight maybe a singular character. And I gotta be honest, I almost wish I could just have this as like an art print. That's really freaking cool. Now, I did not get Hasbro's previous two-pack, Tully's Terrible Night, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm not sure if they've done this before in the past. This is the first time I'm seeing it, but they also took the time to put together this really cool diorama with the figures that really kind of captures that, that moment from the film. And I only hope that when I bust these out and set them up, they look nearly as cool as this does. On the opposite side, we have a little bit of that proton pack diagram art we've seen previously in the Plasma series. And on the back, we also have a brief description for the family that bust together. Phoebe's love of science and affinity for bust and ghost runs in the family. She's got Spangler blood after all. I've waited so long for this moment. <sighs> Let's b -b -b bust it open. Fresh out of the box, one of the first things we're going to talk about is Phoebe, the newest little Spangler, the young Spangler. Why isn't that a sitcom yet? The Spanglers, get on it, NBC, ABC. Monday nights on ABC, The Spanglers. Phoebe Spangler. Now, this is one of them that I was actually the most excited about. We got a sneak peek of this figure when they first dropped Wave 2 of the Plasma series, specifically based on Afterlife, and then she kind of just disappeared for a while. We didn't know why. I mean, now we know. We suspected maybe she could be part of a two-pack, but this was before the movie had even come out, so all we could do was speculate. And here she is, and I couldn't be happier. She's rocking that two sizes too big OG Spangler jumpsuit, sans elbow pads, she's got her Spangler name tag, and she's even still wearing the same red kicks that she wears throughout the entire movie. This... <laughs> This is just freaking adorable. I will say, especially in recent years, Hasbro is pretty darn good about their likeness and they're constantly striving to make that better. And this is pretty good. This is a, a cute little McKenna Grace action figure. Now we did know kind of early on or early-ish on that the kids were going to suit up thanks to an official promo image courtesy of Entertainment Weekly. But I gotta say, seeing it on film for the first time was just so epic and then seeing it in action figure form is even cooler but let's move on to the proton pack because there are some differences here comparatively to the proton packs we've seen on the other plasma series figures first of all and most noticeably is that phoebe uses a different pack than the standard throughout the film and that's what's been dubbed the Spangler Pack. Just like what Hasbro put out earlier this year and what was their first prop from their Ghostbusters line was the Spangler Neutrona wand. Now we got a little baby version. We got a little baby Spangler Ghost Blaster. Just like its life-size counterpart, we've got the green gaffer's tape on the back. We've got that shotgun handle on the front. And one thing in particular I literally just noticed before starting this is if we follow the loom down, 
you'll actually notice that they even put little breaks in between the sort of indents on the looming and that's because on the Spangler pack there actually is like little bits of electrical tape going down the tubing so that's just a really awesome like really tiny detail that's totally different than the other proton packs. Another thing I love about these is it's not like they scaled them down to the kids or anything just like their life-size counterparts these proton packs are stay to scale throughout the line which means they're humongous on the kids, and I think that's hilarious. Swinging it around to the back, they didn't change too much detail-wise in regards to the overall mold. They did try and add her new yellow tubing that's seen on the Spangler pack, but here all they seem to do is paint the ribbon cable yellow, which is a good effort. I can understand it's probably pretty hard to get all of those little tiny details into what was already a pre-existing mold. But, there is something particularly special about this Proton Pack if you didn't already notice on the front of the packaging earlier on in the video. Let's pop open the hood. This Proton Pack is just a little bit different than the others in that the Cyclotron literally comes off of the bottom. And this is to reflect a scene that we had mentioned earlier in which we get to see Phoebe repair the Proton Pack with her ghost grandfather. Egon literally teaches her how to repair the equipment. This is also the first time in the film history that we've gotten to see inside the Proton Pack in any sort of fictional sense. So this is just a really cool new addition to the Ghostbusters canon. And they transferred that perfectly into this tiny action figure. That's one of my favorite little features about this. That's just too cool. So really, 10 out of 10 on Phoebe. But this isn't a single figure review. I thought we were here to talk about a Tupac. Tupac. That's... We'll talk about Tupac in a different video. This is a Tupac. He made a surprise guest appearance in Ghostbusters Afterlife, and now he is making a surprise guest appearance here today in this review. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. I want to talk about... Spectral Egon Spangler. Now since this two-pack was probably planned for a little while, it's very obvious now why Phoebe couldn't come out with the rest of the line. They didn't want to release this until after Ghostbusters had at least hit everywhere in the US. So very good on them for holding back on that. But let's talk about this gorgeous ghost. I won't even be the first to admit, when Hasbro first showed these off at the most recent PulseCon, people were a little worried. And that's just to say that for some reason the pictures that they were presenting did not do this figure justice. That being said, it looks incredible in person. I mean, this looks great. What I had hoped for and imagined immediately is that Hasbro would do something similar in fashion with Egon, like they did with some of their Force Ghosts for the Star Wars line, and that pretty much hits the nail on the head. I can't think of a better way to pull off this particular figure, and just like in the film, it's done incredibly tastefully. That's the most important thing, I think, to note about Afterlife, and most anything that's come out as a result of which, is that Jason worked so closely with the Ramus family that this, the whole thing is just a tribute to Harold. And that's how I feel that I get to have this figure. This is just another tribute to Harold, and I'm absolutely glad to add it to my collection. Going into that whole translucent effect, it's really kind of cool how they managed to transfer all of those details into this clear plastic. All the way down to the leg hose, the leg tube, the belt gizmo, the web belt, all the wrinkles in the uniform. It all sort of fades out as you get towards the top so that you can see that prominent Spangler name tag. And our 2021 Dr. Egon Spangler as he was imagined by Jason and Co. Which I think is just beautiful. They still managed to have that Ghostbusters logo prominently printed on the arm because, I mean, that's just important, right? That's what you want to see. I love seeing the Ghostbusters logo printed on anything. This is a really gorgeous figure. What you see online does not do it justice. See it in person. Pick it up yourself. Th this is just great. And honestly, after seeing the film, I can't think of a better way to present this figure than in a two-pack with Phoebe. With him and her side by side, it easily and beautifully polishes off that Ghostbusters Afterlife collection. Which I hope isn't the end. I don't want to talk about it too much, but there are some other really cool things in Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'd absolutely love to see Hasbro incorporate into the Plasma series. So just 
please. So I am very excited to add Phoebe to the shelf right next to the new Ghostbusters, as well as Egon Spangler right next to Ray, Peter, and Winston. It's, I'm gonna get wet again. But the figures aren't the only things to be excited about in this two pack. It actually comes with a good handful of accessories that we haven't even talked about yet. One of which is yet another upgraded piece of classic ghost poppin' tech, and that is the PKE taser. If you've seen the movie, it is your classic PKE meter with a little bit more kick. It's got some kick to it. I understand why this was included with Egon, but honestly, I might, if I feel daring, give this one to podcast. If you've seen the movie, you know why. Next up is a really cool piece from Egon Spangler's Spores, Molds, and Fungus Collection. And Hasbro, you did a good job of making this. This is gross. This is really gross. And I love it. I love this. What do you think it tastes like? Another fun little piece that I barely dare take out of the box, and you can't even see right here on camera. It's so teeny. We're, we're going to cut into that. Can we get camera B on that? Let's get camera B on that. Let's get a close up. It's a little horsey. It's a chess piece from the first encounter with Phoebe and her ghostly grandfather. So while this is an incredible addition to this two pack and a really fun, cute accessory, this is going right back into the box because this is absolutely something I would lose. It's gone. No, I'm just kidding. It would be bad. Next up, and also really cool, they've decided to include an alternate terror dog head to the ones released previously. We got one terror dog in Hasbro's very first wave as the Build-A-Figure, and then a second one in Tully's Terrible Night. Some fans who were able to grab that initial two-pack realized that it was the same terror dog, but fear not. If you got that pack, or if you just happen to have some bare terror dog parts laying around. Hasbro has decided to include an alternate head so that you can have both terror dogs. Because if you're a Ghostbusters fan, you know there's a difference. How can you tell? Did you just go around and lift, lift up their skirts? You got your shubs and you got your zools. You remember that song by TLC? No shubs? It was a big deal. So while I've only got a few other extra terror dog parts, this gives me more incentive. Now I have a goal. This product is slowly hitting shelves just in time for the holiday and it is a Target exclusive. It would make the perfect gift for any Ghostbusters fan, especially if you've already seen Ghostbusters Afterlife. We're gonna try to provide a link down below so you can check your local store for availability or ask a Target associate. If you like what you saw here today or if you have something else you'd like us to check out, be sure to comment down below. Like I said earlier on in the video, we've got a whole lot of new things coming up for the holidays, so if you don't want to miss that, be sure to check us out on Facebook, like us here on YouTube, share, subscribe, and be sure to ring that bell. We've got so many amazing things coming up soon, and you don't want to miss an update. Until next time, I'm Jamie Hodges, and I'll see you on the other side.